So I'm just going to keep answering some questions here. So uh, one of you guys asks, how many NVMEs should be reserved for the final two to three weeks before my USMLE? I've got a very good answer for this. So before we get started, subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Help grow this channel. Share with one of your friends who's prepping for USMLE. Hit the like button. Hit the bell if you want notifications. And find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. And the link is down below. Now, let me start the fucking question. So how many NVMEs should be reserved for the last two, three weeks before my USMLE? Of course, uh, there's some of you studying for step one versus two CK. If you are in the final two to three weeks at a bare minimum, you need to make sure you are sitting 25 through 30. Those are the online forms. Yes, you should be doing all of those exams. You have to recognize that the real USMLE is the NBME. The questions are the same, okay? So people walk out of the exam. Some people will say, oh, like the questions were more similar to you world than they were the NBME. It's not fucking true, okay? The USMLE is the NBME. They're the same questions. When you go into the real USMLE, it's going to look like you world. Colors, calculator, lab values, except it's going to be the NBME questions, CBSE questions, superimposed into the U world interface, okay? The questions are the same. There's going to be repeats from the NBME forms on the actual USMLE. Okay, that's a whole discussion in and of itself, but that also uh, emphasizes why it's important to do the NBME exams. Now, there's obviously NBMEs 1 through 30. 25 through 30 are mandatory to do in your final two to three weeks. Okay, I know some of you watching this clip, like right now, you might literally be two weeks, two weeks out, and you're like, what do I do starting now? Other people watching this, you're going to be, let's say, four or five months out. And so the way you use the NBMEs going into the final couple of weeks is going to be different as a result, okay? If you are literally the second two to three weeks out and you haven't done forms 25 through 30, right now, you need to do those forms. You need to screenshot your incorrects into a Word document, save the Word document as a PDF, and then review that PDF of incorrects, and also hardcore assiduously memorize the corrects as well, okay? This is a long discussion. Many of you are gonna have your side questions, I get it, drop comments, but this comes back to the NBME questions. They're the same as the USMLE questions. There are repeats from earlier forms on 20 through 24, as there are repeats on 25 through 30, as there are repeats on the real USMLE. I sat the step one about 10 years ago, and I sat NBME three online at the time. There were barely any forms available, and I had two repeat questions from the NBMEs on my real, real USMLE, and a third question was a repeat image with a different vignette, okay? Questions repeat. And when I do Skype sessions with students, there'll be times when a student might get a question wrong on one of the forms 25 through 30, and I'll say to the student, I'm like, you know, I actually sent you this same fucking question from like NBME 16 or 13, like however many weeks or months ago, okay? Students don't even rem remember that they've seen questions. So my point is that if you do a cursory review at most of the NBMEs, you're not even gonna realize you're getting repeats on your real deal. Or they might be correct questions that you got and hence you weren't, you don't remember them, okay? Uh, so the repeats are everywhere. That's So that's giving you the foundational uh, emphasis for why you need to integrate NBMEs into your prep, okay? Very important. In the final two to three weeks, make sure you have 25 through 30 down. If you are months out from your exam, you should be using the final uh, six to eight weeks to do forms 20 through 24 offline. Same tactic, screenshot your incorrects into a Word document, save as a PDF or a PowerPoint and you're gonna compile a master file. So let's say NBME 20, you're gonna have all your incorrects, NBME 21, all your incorrects, master file, okay? And you're gonna be using that to review in the final week before your exam. And if we have time, you're also gonna be memorizing the corrects from the forms, okay? It's a long discussion, but the NBMEs in terms of assessment, in terms of predicting your score, it's a balance between we want you to be able to have accurate score prediction in the weeks leading up to your exam, but we don't want you to sit them too late where you're not actually where you don't have sufficient time to really like remember the questions the way you need to going in. Okay. 
we want you to have ample time to review, but we don't want you sitting the forms 25 through 30 too far out where now they're not going to be accurate in terms of prediction of score, okay? The self-assessment exams for UWorld as an example, it doesn't actually matter when you sit those apart from we don't want you sitting them too late following the NBME exams, okay? So this is a long discussion in and of itself. The USMLE is the NBMEs. It's not fucking UWorld self-assessment exams, okay? So the UWSAs 1 and 2, we don't want you doing those right prior to your USMLE. The question style is slightly different. You might be trained to overthink by doing those exams. Recognize that your scores on 25 through 30 are more accurate, okay? Those are the actual USMLE, okay? So not the UWorld self-assessment exams. So we want you doing UWSAs prior to 25 through 30 if possible. Students get real heated about this point, okay? I can't tell you how many conversations I've had where students are like really fervent about doing the UWSAs late, okay? It just shows you the power of branding, how like it's been inculcated or ingrained to be doing these UWSAs and that's fine, okay? It's just recognize that there's a hierarchy of importance and NBMEs are the most important because they are the USMLE. It's not a debate. They're the same questions, followed by the UWSAs, okay? So we could, for instance, have you do, if you're two months out, we could have you do 20 through 24 offline. We could have you do my PDFs for review to further boost your knowledge. We could have you do UWSA 1, okay? Student says, I want to save UWSA 2. I get it, okay? I'm just giving you an example of how we can work it in if you're uh, ardent about doing UWSAs late. We could have you do 20 through 24, my high yield review PDFs, UWSA 1. We could have you do EG 25 through 27, UWSA 2, 28 through 30, okay? That's one way to do it. I personally think the UWSAs should be done prior to 25 through 30, okay? People have different views, all right? So when I work with you, if we were to chat, you know, it's never cookie cutter. So we have to uh, come up with a best plan. But your take home point is that the 25 through 30, uh, that's what you want to end on in the final couple of weeks if you don't have much time. And if you have time to spare, just recognize that 20 through 30, you're going to be taking all those incorrects. You're going to be reviewing, reviewing them in a master PDF as well as if you have uh, additional ability to study, memorizing the corrects as well. If you're studying for step two, you're gonna do the same thing, but for the clinical mastery series forms, the subject specific forms, we've got internal medicine, surgery, peds, etc. okay? So you're gonna be taking your incorrects, putting them into a Word document, saving as a PDF. You're gonna be doing the same thing for, at the time of this clip, uh, July 8th, uh, 2021, Eight, uh, sorry, forms six, seven, eight are online for step two. They will soon be nine, ten, eleven, and eight, uh, six, seven, eight will be offline. But my point is that six, seven, eight will be integrated uh, with the clinical master series the same way that I mentioned twenty through twenty four offline for step one. Okay, six, seven, eight will just be the twenty twenty four equivalent. So, um, but we want you doing the NBME, NBME material in the final couple of months for step two as well. And U World, QBank just serves as buffer. Okay, so if you're like a few months out, like if you're four or five months out, we just have you do QBank leading up to the final couple of months, where at that point we transition you into the NBME exams, okay? Look, once again, many of you are going to have specific questions. You want me to sit here for 45 minutes, okay? You say, oh, you didn't talk about X, Y, leave a comment, okay? I'll address your question, make, you know, more concise clips, and I'm just going to continue putting out more content. You know the deal, all right? So... Subscribe to my channel, really appreciate it, and that's it.